Hey, good morning, folks. Out here today at the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel. Come out here about a month or so ago and did really good. Had a blast. Um, it's definitely a little bit windier than I was expecting this morning, so I don't know what it's going to do for my trip. I'm already rolling into some pretty decent sized waves here, so pretty much trying to target some flounder. I may go for some sheep's head after that just to try something different. Uh, they should be plentiful out here around the bridge pylons and everything. Fortunately, I don't really have the bait that I would hope to have for the sheep's head. You know, sand fleas and mole crabs work probably the best. Uh, I didn't have any, so I'm gonna be using some little Berkeley uh, gulp imitation, like uh, peeler crabs, I think they are. About an inch and a half, two inches, to see if I can get anything on them. I'm a bit worried though, because I'm thinking I'm probably gonna be picking up you know, croaker and trout on them. So I don't know, we'll see. As far as my poles today, I brought uh, three rigs basically with me. You know, a pole rigged up with some 20 pound test braid and 20 pound fluorocarbon leader running a bucktail with a uh, teaser on a bait holder hook about a foot above it. That's kind of like my fish finder rig. It's really good for scoping out in the area quickly and seeing what's available. You'll normally pick up the bigger fish on the bucktail like flounder and uh, large trout, some drum if they're in the area, and then you'll pick up the smaller fish on the little teaser, just kind of see what's there. Uh, as far as for flounder fishing, I'll be rocking a little gulp jig hit with a uh, three inch pogey on it. It's been working very well for me in these waters. I had very successful trips to Lynn Haven and Lynn recently, which I have a video of, so please check it out. And for the sheep's head, I just have a basic can tied. 20-pound test with the same weight fluorocarbon leader I would a certain loop on the end for a weight and about a foot and a half above that just a bait holder hook which I'll be rocking a little soft crabs on but uh, that's pretty much my plan I'm just now getting to the bridge up here I'm gonna grab and bait up and see what I can do Well, seems like plenty of trout out here. It's a little decent sized little one there. size on there. A 16 inch trout. I ain't bad. There we go. No trout. The terminator is plenty of wheat fish out here.
sea bass. Well, fortunately I'm having to leave. Conditions are getting a little bit rough out here. The wind is blowing a little bit more than they predicted. Um, it's starting to white cap out here in the bay, as you can see. I caught a bunch of trout today. I do have one keeper trout in the cooler about 18 inches long. Great trout. One and some flounder, only caught one. Fortunately, the conditions aren't ideal with the tide going out and the wind blowing in. It's drifting kind of a pain. So, I'm gonna go up here and fish for a little bit closer to shore and see if that turns up anything. And if not, I may very well head over to uh, Lynn Haven Inlet put over there since the flounder bite there has been really good. We'll see.